This past week, a story involving a Taco Bell in Colorado made national headlines after a man claimed that his meal had rat poison in it. Update, investigators now say there's no evidence Taco Bell employees are responsible. So let's bring in Jeremy Hohola. You've been following this. I think this was kind of a surprise to us all. We thought, you know, yeah. you're arguing with the worker who's messing with your food and, you know, something awful happened. Yeah, and generally we don't get involved in a lot of these things and food stories, but this one we did because law enforcement touched it, right? It became an investigation. And this man, he's no longer talking to investigators, so they're still trying to figure out how all of this happened. So, a quick recap here. This man got into an argument with Taco Bell employees at the location off East Smoky Hill Road in Buckley and South Aurora this past Sunday. Deputies responded to that fight, but nobody was arrested. The man ended up going home with soft tacos. Then about six hours later, this man called 911 claiming he felt burning in his mouth and he was vomiting. An ambulance was called. He brought a soft taco with him to the hospital where investigators did find rat poison inside that taco. That prompted the shutdown of this Taco Bell and a nationwide story that spread like fire sauce. However, this morning, Investigators have revealed they looked at the video inside that Taco Bell and they did not find any evidence that any employee there placed rat poison in this man's food. The Arapahoe County Sheriff notes Taco Bell was very cooperative throughout this whole investigation. But now, you know, there's a big window here. There's a big question, a lot of unknowns. Let's call this the mystery taco time window, a period of time between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. This man took his tacos home after leaving at 1 p.m. and he didn't start eating until 7 p.m. Within this window, this man told investigators he helped a neighbor do yard work and then he watched the news show 60 minutes before biting into his rat poisoned taco. But it's unclear how the poison ended up in this taco. Nobody has been arrested. However, the sheriff's office notes in their press release today, this man is not responding to their calls. He is not answering his front door. So right now at this point, they have many questions for this man and they still do not know what happened with the rat poison. Do we think maybe this is something he did to himself? I mean, yeah, I feel so, like that's the obvious question here is the idea that maybe yes. he did this. So that's the conclusion a lot of people online are coming to. We can't speculate, but that's sure. a theory that a lot of people are talking about because online. There was rat poison in the food. Yeah, there was rat poison. It was truly in yeah. some sort of way poison. They saw the taco at the hospital. There was rat poison in there. They don't know how it got in there, but the, the, the challenge here, according to investigators, there's a big window of time. Sure. Of what happened with this man's food between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Like my takeaway is I can still eat my Taco Bell because I do love Taco Bell. Yeah. And you know, it's good to know <laughs> that somebody back inside open. a Taco Bell was yeah. not responsible. And the, the place is back open. The Thank taco, yeah, the, <laughs> whoo, the Taco Bell was shut down over this. Yeah, you know, and I believe the state health department actually got yeah. involved to you know to make sure that the uh, the store had to follow certain requirements sure. to open sure. back open again. But after deputies went in there, looked at the video, and for a while, a lot of national news outlets reported on this, and there was a lot of assumptions made by people. Like, you sure. know, what what employee would do this turns out employees are not responsible and officially investigators don't know who's responsible okay a regular old who done it okay. who done well, it hopefully everybody's yeah. okay at the end of the day you just hope everybody yeah. everybody's gonna be all right all right yeah. thank you jeremy sure goodness